Lyman painting, everyone. Melissa Lyman here, uh, coming at you from Happy Trees Home Home Studio. Cheers. Uh, I think we're on official day three of, of lockdown, but we've been quarantining since March 15th. So, um, excited to come to you guys from my house. Uh, I've been working hard on lots of new paintings. Uh, this is one that I made up yesterday, and I want to do a step-by-step -step tutorial and show you guys how easy it is to do something like that. Here. So let me show you what I'm using here. I've got one big brush. It's kind of like this. I like to use a square brush usually. I'm going to call this brush kind of the short and stubby brush, smaller brush. And then there's a skinny brush like this. You can see none of these are, are fancy. On my paint palette here, I have primary colors, Carmine Red, Azo Jill Dunker, Phalo Blue, Burnt Umber. We've got black and white. My white's pretty runny. I'm using whatever I have here at home, so rations are, are low. Uh, we got to get back to the studio. We can still leave the house. I'm being dramatic. So, uh, the first thing that I'm going to do, and we're also spinning some records, so you can comment if that music is too loud, you say. Turn it down. Okay, so, I think it's a sunset going on back here, so we've got all these nice colors that go in an ombre, and I'm going to start with that first. I'm going to take my big brush, tap, tap, tap. Do a little squeeze that water out of your brush. So the first color I'm going to make is going to be a little bit of white. And I'm going to tippy toe just like the corner of the yellow. So I'm making a light yellow, maybe a little bit more yellow. And then I'm going to get just the tiniest bit of red. And maybe a little bit more. So when you're mixing colors, you can always add more of the darker color, but just go lightly. Now I'm going to add a little bit of water and just mix all this up together. And I'm going to go in right about the middle of the canvas here. And I'm just going to come in with nice long horizontal brush strokes. More water. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to go and just pick up a little bit more white. I'm going to lighten up this yellow a little bit. Get water. Just put that kind of right on top. Now I'm getting most of the paint off my brush onto the canvas there when I do that and then I can go in just where those two colors meet. My brush is not got a lot of paint, so you can get that nice kind of ombre look. And I'm going to wash my brush off completely. Just knock that around in the cup. Tap, tap, tap. Squeeze. So now I'm going to go in and I want to take a light blue. So this phalo blue is pretty strong. I'm going to take a little bit of white. I'm just going wherever I've got room. A little bit of blue, doesn't take much at all. A little bit of water. I'm gonna go right across the top with this blue. But I'm gonna leave a section, I don't know, it's about three finger spaces here, of white canvas. What I'm going to do is just go in, pick up just a little bit of white by itself, some water. I'm going to go in with wet white paint right here in the middle. And I'm going to come down and kind of get this a little bit more blended. And then I'll go right up in here into the blue and kind of pick that up and drag that down a little bit. I want just a little bit more blue in there. So you can come in and kind of do some little streaks. Okay. 
Okay. So we've got pretty good ombre sunset uh, coral colors into the blue. I'm gonna rinse my brush off again. And actually, I'm gonna put the big brush back into the water now, brush side down. And I'm gonna take that small kind of square stubby brush. And I'm gonna just take, let's see, I'm gonna take some brown and some black little bit of water and all I want to do with this dark brown basically is go in and do my path and I want a little bit of perspective so I want for the path to be smaller where it's further away so you can kind of go in right here in the middle and on this side I'm going to kind of do sort of an S shape pretty cool so kind of a stretched out S over here now, a lot of times you'll see like a snake that comes down like that. You really want it to kind of come out. And then on this side, smaller. And as it gets closer to me, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have it kind of come around right here. In the finished version, I put a tree up here in the front. So I'm not even really worried about what's happening right here. It's gonna get covered up. But now let's go in. And I'm going to go back to the big brush. Tap, tap. And I'm going to take, let's see, basically I'm going to do kind of a 50-50 mixture. Here's a glob of brown, and I'm going to get about an equal part glob of blue. These are very technical terms. I want you to just kind of mix little brown and a little blue together and what you'll see is you'll start to get this really deep this green color you can't see it here but you'll see it up there it looks like a blob right here all right so now i'm going to go in and i want to decide where my trees are going to be so i'm just going to go and do some vertical lines and you don't need to even like, count these trees. I'm just going to come in and let's see. Maybe I've got a small one here. And I'm just staggering the height. So I want them to be far enough apart that I can have these individual treetops coming up against my backdrop, my beautiful sunset sky. So that's good enough. And then we're gonna turn these into trees. So I'm gonna show my brush a little bit. So I still have this shadow color, the brown and the blue. And I'm kind of loading my brush up as flat as it can be. So it's a square brush. And I'm gonna come in with the very corner tip to start. So you might get closer to this now. Wish I could play the piano. All right, so on the very top, I'm coming in and I'm just doing a few little points. But then as I come down, what I'm doing is I'm turning the brush more to where I can move it on its side. And I'm just kind of getting the indication of trees in here. So the reason I like to have like a bushier brush is as I go, another one small at the top and then as I come down it's almost like a, a zigzaggy motion you can always kind of go back in and fill in the little spots add some little hanging branches You can see down here at the horizon line, I'm just letting them all run in together. So there doesn't need to be definition at this time. We'll do that later. So I'm just trying to get a shadow layer in right now, and then we're gonna add highlights on top of that. Let's 
We're going to do some Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass tonight. You can see I'm going to deal with this later, but we're just getting these trees in. I want to have time for this layer of paint to dry. And then we can come in. Now I can kind of come in if I want to fill in any spots. But we do this, or tree paintings like this a lot, and people are always afraid to go in and make that vertical stroke, but you can see it completely disappears, so it doesn't really matter what your first line looks like. You're just using it as a guide. Now, what I'm gonna do is gonna be just kind of some labor here really quick. I'm gonna take that same color, I'm adding a little bit of water to that paint, but I'm just gonna go in, and all underneath this, I'm going to, be going in with this big circular brush stroke. And I'm kind of sloppy at this step because I'm going to go in and clean everything up later. You can see we'll add some stuff along the edges of our sidewalk. Do these big circular brush strokes because we're going to go in and add foliage later and so if you're just going in and doing these circular brush strokes sometimes you can just some little bushy things will kind of pop out at you and you can see where you might be able to add highlights all right and again i think this is going to be covered up so all right i'm going to rinse my brush again oh Mm, record stop. Here, we're going to get a, a record switch here. Oh, that's my hand. Let's talk about, here's an up close of the picture. So, all right, we've got a little bit to go here, but we've made some progress. And here's one I did a couple days ago. This is my friend Joey Henry's photograph, one of many lovely photographs that he's got. But we've teamed up to do some painting parties that are inspired by his photography, and we are excited to do one of those once we are able to get back and gather in the same place. But I think I'll do a tutorial on this one. Not tomorrow night, the night after that. We'll, we'll schedule something. Okay. Time is a strange thing right now. It's hard to commit to any. Today is Thursday, though. I did verify that. Okay, so we've got this in here. I want to give this a little bit of time to dry, so I'm going to come in here and start working on the path. And I think the color I'm going to do, and I'm just rinsing my brush off. I'm just wiping off any paint that might be left on there. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of white and a little bit of brown. Again, that could be like a 50-50 mixture too, but I'm gonna add a tiny touch of black to that. And I'm just gonna go in and just do some horizontal strokes, but I'm kind of skipping around. So the important thing about Doing this and getting it to naturally look like little ruts in the road is to not stay in the same place. So you want to just keep that brush moving. And I'm going to get, let's see, so a little bit like this. 
a lot of that's still white canvas showing behind. But then I want to kind of come in here on the edge. My paint's still wet. So I'm kind of using my brush to sort of fuzz out that edge. And I even like to get some of this, some of that green shadow color. You can even make that kind of skip out. Let's try it over here. And I'm keeping all of these lines in the road horizontal. So we still have some more details to do. That's getting us pretty good. See, I keep messing with this part. I'm gonna put a tree there. I don't know why I'm worried about that. Okay, so I think we're ready to go in and you can see that this looks like a landscape already. We haven't added any of the highlights or details that will really make a lot of things pop out, but uh, you'll see how easy that is to do. So, taking my big brush, do a little squeeze. Now, to the trick to this first part, I'm gonna go in and add highlights to the trees. And what we're gonna do is just take a tiny bit of yellow paint. And then I'm gonna just I'm loading it bushy, I don't know if you can see that. So I take that small amount of paint and I'm kind of spreading it out on my brush. And then I'm gonna go in, oh, let's see. I'm gonna kind of do a highlight here on this right side. So what I'm gonna do is just go in, take a little bit of this yellow, and I'm kind of highlighting kind of bushy thing right here. So I'm going to take yellow, I'm going to add a tiny touch of red. And let's just go in and right in there and I want to save a different thing for right in here so if you go in you've got your trees back here you've got a bush that kind of stands out up towards the front a little higher okay and then down in here I don't know, maybe there's some purple irises blooming along the path. So let's see, if I'm gonna mix up a purple, I'm just going back to my light blue, a little white, a little blue, and then I'm gonna add a little tiny bit of red to that. Maybe a little bit more white. All right, and then I'm going to come in right along here. And I'm just going to put some little little blooms. <laughs> I like the sound. That's nice. Yeah. Joseph, 
Old School says, such an awesome idea. Much luck and success. All right. Thank you, Jeff. I'll be doing more. So. Not tomorrow night, night, but the night after. That's right. So that would be Saturday night. Big, <laughs> big Saturday night painting party. All right. So this is a new trick. I've got my tiny, tiny brush here. And I've got just a little bit of yellow. And I'm going to go in and I'm just going to do... Again, all this is, it's just yellow, but you can see, just add some little grasses here. All right, cool. I think there's probably going to be more grassy things back here. Okay. So I kind of just did that whole left side there and I'm going to just switch over to this right side. Oh, I forgot. I'm gonna go back to that shadow color that I did all these trees with. Sometimes I like to come in just like right. Let me get my color mixed up, a little brown, a little blue. So what I'm doing is I'm just, it's probably hard to see on there. So let's just get a tree. So when I add highlights, you'll be able to see this a little bit better, but we know straight out. Okay. So now I'm going to go back in, I'm going to let this dry, come in and do highlights up here. Now on these trees, I like to just bring them all the way down into the foreground here. side we just have these two big trees now if you're trying this at home and you're feeling like oh my yellow is just looking like polka dots you do kind of have to skip around you still want that shadow to shine through but let's say for instance you get too carried away with some yellow you can always go back in with a little shadow and just touch that up Okay, so this has probably had enough time to dry. I'm going to go ahead and get a highlight on that. still wet so the yellow is like not sticking out there we go okay all right I'm gonna just add now let's 
Let's see, maybe I'll go in. Oh, my foot's mm -hmm. out. It's okay, we're almost done. Just go ahead and stop that sound from happening. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to add a few grasses just along here and just back here in the distance. And then I'm just going to show how to do these little rocks here. I think we'll be wrapping it up. All right. So, yeah, on this side, you can add more flowers if you want, or you can also keep it simple and just do some little grasses. I'll just try to make them kind of grow different ways. I'm not too worried about right here because that's what I'm using. I'm going to come in with some of these rocks to sort of clean up some of the sides a little bit. You know, if anything ever gets, I do a lot of smudging out with my finger too. And I think I probably just want there to be more of like a bushy thing happening. All right. Okay, so now let's do some boulders. This is a kind of a fun trick. Taking that big brush. Squeeze. And what I'm doing... My paint palette is kind of messy. So I'm taking my big brush and what I'm doing is I'm going to stick half of it in the white and the other half in the black. So my brush is double loaded brush. So I've got the white on top. I'm just going to do some gray boulders. So I'm keeping it simple. And what I'm going to do is come in here with my loaded brush and let's see, let's start right about here. And I'm just pushing that brush down and I'm just kind of smirch, doing a few like that. That looks pretty good, but then I come in and I take my finger. I'm just going to kind of just kind of bring in some of that shadow out. So you can just kind of blend those rocks and they'll look a little bit more natural. So let me get another little dip here. All right, I'm going to do a few more. I just kind of like to line them up wherever I think they need to be. And you can do a few like that. I like to do little clusters and then immediately go in. Okay, let's do a couple down here. I think we'll go a little bigger. Okay. And I'm just going to do a few more with my big brush because it's fun to do. I want to put a couple over here. And again, every painting is going to be a little different. So if you've got a spot where you don't like on your picture, put a rock on it. And I just kind of drag that shadow straight out and it gives that, that path even more depth and shadow. Okay. You can do the same thing with a little brush. Let's see, half in the white, half in the black. Maybe you've got some just in the middle of the road here. Oh, 
that. Let's pull that again. Sometimes you gotta rinse and start over. Okay, I'm just gonna do, oops, got a little drip. That's all right. I'm just going to do tiny, tiny ones. You need to make those noises. Okay. Hardest part, know when to stop. And let's say you do that. No big deal. All right. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah. All right. Well, that was fun. Thanks for hanging out, uh, listening to records, and watching me paint. We will be back. Saturday night, same time, 9.30 at patricepainting.com is my website. This is on Facebook Live. Happy quarantining, everyone. Oh, here's where I do my... I'm not chugging. I'm just having a slip. All right. Thank you.